Okay, folks, we're going to get started. I'd like to thank you for uh, for joining us today. Uh, my name is Dave Howden. I'm Technical Services Manager with the Loudspeaker Solutions Group in the Biamp Philadelphia office. There's my contact info should you need further information um, after the webinar ends. Uh, this is going to be a relative, relatively short webinar here on the uh, updates and changes uh, to our ALC amplified loudspeaker controllers. So the ALC family, uh, our, you know, the amplifiers, we, we now have the three, you know, the three models, the ALC 404AN, the 1604AN, 3202AN systems, which are still have the same power levels, which we had with the D series of amplifiers. We have just lost the Dante uh, connectivity temporarily. Uh, these amplifiers are power matched to a wide, wide range of our, uh, loudspeaker families and additional ones also um, you know that that aren't on this list could certainly be appropriate for powering you know any speaker uh, you know sold by biamp you know outside of the sound masking systems so what has changed with the alcs so the now for sale alc an models no longer include dante transport for the time being this is due to you know challenges audinates having with their ultimo chip um, so we've, we're having just challenges like everybody, you know, global semiconductor shortages, chip manufacturing constraints, and the AV world, as we've all learned, just has a harder time getting time on these machines compared to the larger industries. And on top of that, there's even a shortage of chips to build new chip manufacturing machines. So unfortunately, had a lot working working against us um when having to make this you know make this decision but uh you know we we expect you know we're not the only ones of this these audinate challenges you know are going to affect others and we're hoping that this challenge will resolve itself later this year and digital audio transport will again be available uh, within the alcs so what what's not changed? We've still got you know high value you know high value high quality amplification with built-in DSP. All of the current uh, speaker DSP tunings are still compatible across whether you have an older D uh, model ALC or a current AN model uh, system. The Harmonia Plus software functionality remains the same. You know exact same programming workflow, same processes for uh, updating speaker and amplifier profiles through the marketplace, which we'll go into in just a little bit more detail. Same programming steps, same system monitoring options. So aside from digital audio transport, you know, every, everything's working the same. You're just not going to see those routing options for Dante when you're working on a, uh, a system design within the Harmonia Plus uh, software. Uh, Continue to use, you know, the most current version. That's especially important right now during this transition period to the ANs. Uh, get the software from PowerSoft.com or uh, open up your current install of A Plus and update it from there when you know, when indicated. Uh, you will need to, you know, if you know, if you have you have not in a while, you'll need to log into your MyPS account uh, with your credentials or create an account, uh, which you know for you know log in on a new installation on another machine or just you know, re-log in uh, if if required if it's been a while since you've updated your software, but this is required to get the presets and the amplifier profile updates uh, through the Harmonia Plus suite. The marketplace that I speak of, it's within the Harmonia Plus software under the A Plus in the upper left-hand corner. Um, you know, this this menu has changed a little bit. If you haven't looked for it in a while, uh, marketplace used to be uh, prominently displayed as one of the items that you can directly click on, but now uh, the marketplace is under the More tab. And you just you know simply simply click on click on marketplace and that will bring you to the uh, the screen where you can download uh, the updated amplifier profiles and any up, 
updated DSP settings, you know, since the last time you updated your database. Again, if you're new to Harmonia Plus, you know, to use a marketplace, you must have a MyPS account on the powersoft.com site. Um, it's simple, it's easy, they don't spam you a lot, you can opt out of everything, but this is this is a requirement for, for updating amplifier models or speaker DSP tunings. So changes changes that we're gonna see. Uh, it was good a time as any to do it. Uh, you know, the Armonia Plus Speaker Amp Library is now branded as BiAmp. Uh, previously, it was Community. Uh, if you search for Community in the in the in the search box, uh, you will you will bring up you know four you know four different options for download, but they're all going to be branded as BiAmp now. You know, the BiAmp Speaker presets again says right there formally community it's the same preset you know same presets that we've you know that we've had uh historically we're just changing our branding our branding over uh if you're looking for the d series uh the alc d series uh models you can find them by typing community also, and, and it will bring up the ALC D series models, but it doesn't bring up the AN models. If you search for BiAmp, it'll return the same speaker library, BiAmp Speaker Process, formerly known as Community, but it will also it will also bring up the AN series uh, amplifier models. Um, so if you're if you're doing an installation in the the near future or configuring configuring ALCs in the near future, there's a really good chance you're going to be running into the AN models of of ALCs. So be sure you know be sure that you type in BiAmp, download the BiAmp ALC AN models uh, from you know from the marketplace so that you have those at your disposal, especially if you're going to do this out in, out in the field and you may or may not have a good internet connection once you get out in the field. I'd encourage you you know get everyone to update their, their laptops, workstations, you know, and and download these models uh, as soon as possible just to uh, ensure that you have a, a nice smooth workflow. So in, in Harmonia Plus, you know, even though the, the database, you know, says, you know, says BiAmp, the loudspeaker brand uh, due to our OEM agreement for the time being still shows up as community when selecting presets to load. You'll see there's not a BiAmp in the, in the, far, le in the far left list. It's still community professional. This is something that we'll be uh, addressing this quarter and uh, updating it so the brand will actually show up as BiAmp. It just takes a bit more legwork to get that done, but uh, you can still get to the community presets where the you know in the marketplace as long as you download you know as long as you download it either using the search term BiAmp or the search term community for the speaker presets, you'll get you'll still get to the database. But when you when you go to actually build a project. You'll have to you'll have to select community professional, and then select your family model and you know, all the standard workflow from that point on. So, kind of answered the question already, but what about my older ALC, you know, D installations, you know, with Dante, you know, with the Dante uh, capability in those in those amplifiers. As many of you saw, you know the amp updated amplifier profiles updated as by you know by amp branded. The ALC D amplifier profiles will still connect, be compatible with the ALC D amplifiers, even though it says it's a by amp model. So we've made it as easy as we possibly could. We've even notated it there as compatible with community ALC D models uh, with you know within the marketplace. Firmware and Armonia uh, Plus program versions, the ALC ANs and Ds will continue to be supported by by the same firmware. Uh, the current most up to date uh, and the future firmware will apply to both versions moving forward, which is, you know, often necessary to, you know, based on the Armonia Plus version you're running, uh, you'll 
you'll need you'll need to uh, you'll need to keep the firmware the firmware up to date and and uh, but you won't have to worry about separate versions for each amp. You know the the software the software does the picking and it'll figure it out for you. The AN and D versions will continue to be compatible with this same current Yarmonia, you know, version two software. Uh, but when you get you know get into the AN amplifiers, if you haven't worked with them yet, uh, a firmware update you know, will likely be required at the, at this time. They've been coming kind of kind of fast from our friends at PowerSoft as they work out you know work out bugs and stuff. That they've come across with them having it to substitute various chips within their amplifiers in order to uh, keep production flowing. But my best adv best advice to you know any integrators, any installers out there is, you know, update update the firmware in the shop before sending the ALCs to install, just to ensure that the latest greatest firmware is on there. When somebody in the field pops open their laptop to do some tweaking or commissioning on a system. Uh, they won't have to worry about, you know, if they have an internet connection, because an internet connection is required to update the ALC, for, you know, the ALC firmware. If you're if you're a version behind, it's not built into the Harmonia Plus software. Again, just uh, some of the intricacies of uh, having an OEM uh, relationship uh, with a company. But the good news is, you know, once a version of firmware is applied to an ALC model, you know, once it's, you know, downloaded from the web, it will remain resident on that machine for that, you know, for that software version. So it's not like you have to go to the internet every t every time for it. And again, you can avoid a lot of this by always using the latest uh, Ammonia Plus version and update firmware is required uh, for amplifiers. Honestly, folks, that's, that's it. I mean, in a, in a nutshell, it's a, it's important information, but this transition happened uh, tra happened kind of fast, uh, with you know with uh, having to move away from digital transport uh, for for the time being. But again, we we hope and expect to have have it back late this year, uh, early next year within the ALC family. And thank you everybody uh, for your for your time. My uh, direct contact information is below or for general questions on amplification and loudspeakers, feel free to email us at support at biamp.com. Thank you, I hope everybody has a great day and uh, be in touch as needed.